2015, Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, carried out over 8.5 million outpatient consultations, treated more than 2 million cases of malaria, and vaccinated 1.5 million people against measles. We worked in 446 projects, providing emergency medical treatment to victims of violence, treating people with HIV, tuberculosis, and cholera, helping mothers deliver their babies, and providing mental health care. In many places in the world, our medical work is done in war zones. MSF facilities and supported facilities were destroyed in Yemen, Syria, South Sudan, Central African Republic, and Ukraine. Medicine must not be a deadly occupation. Patient must not be attacked or slaughtered in their beds. Stop these attacks. We are still feeling the shockwaves of the attack on the MSF Kunduz Trauma Center in Afghanistan. In October, 14 staff, 24 patients, and four patient caretakers lost their lives in a U.S. airstrike. We lost many colleagues. The repercussions of the attacks on medical facilities are wide-reaching. The destruction leaves thousands of civilians deprived of essential medical care. In Syria, after five years of war, at least 1.5 million people are trapped without humanitarian aid, health care or medical evacuation. Two thousand and fifteen saw the biggest displacement of people since the Second World War. In the Lake Chad region of Western Africa, violence caused two point five million people in Cameroon, Chad, Niger, and Nigeria to flee their homes. We deployed medical teams to the four countries, supporting people in refugee camps and host communities, but some regions are still inaccessible. By July, three thousand Burundians were arriving in Tanzania every week, escaping election related violence. Our teams provided medical care. We have, we have jackets for everybody, okay? Don't push, don't push, and everybody put the life jacket on. Just over a million people risked their lives to reach Europe in 2015, and in the month of April alone, over 1,300 people died or went missing at sea. When the Mare Nostrum rescue at sea operation was discontinued, MSF decided that preventing thousands of people from drowning had become a humanitarian imperative. Over the course of the year, our vessels in the Mediterranean Sea assisted over 23,000 people. At Europe's entry points in Italy and Greece, and along the migration route through the Balkans, we worked in refugee settlements and mobile clinics, offering shelter and medical care. Représentant le symbole de Ebola ici, parce que moi je suis le premier guéri, et lui, elle est la dernière. In West Africa, as the number of Ebola patients was reducing, MSF began providing medical care for survivors while working on re-establishing regular health care such as maternity wards. Our teams in the three most affected countries supported clinical research for treatments, diagnostics and vaccines in an effort to control the epidemic and avoid new outbreaks. However, Ebola is not the only disease-threatening populations. Measles, meningitis, and cholera, for example, are common in places where people are forced to live in poor sanitary conditions and vaccination coverage is low. MSF is constantly striving to provide assistance to those who need it most. In 2015, over 34,000 MSF staff worked in 69 countries all over the world. Without their dedication and the support of our donors, we couldn't provide life-saving medical care. We want to take this opportunity to thank you. Yeah.